So, Fowler, looks absolutely mint on the um, scales. Do you know what? Eating quite normally, just, you know, he eats healthy, he, he lives life well, he trains well. And he weighed 11 too, you know, it's, it's a doddle. You know? a, a, lot of, a lot of prospects weigh quite a little bit above the weight. People say, oh, can I do light middleweight? It's too big for light middleweight. He's going to do a light middleweight easy. You know, 11 stone 2, he had some breakfast this morning, he ate normal yesterday. Uh, light middles ain't a problem because he lives right. He doesn't balloon up in weight. We ain't got to train for the first four weeks trying to trying to shift weight. You know, it's all about improvement. And he's, he's getting better and, I, and I'm enjoying training. Seems like he's got a good following. Um, when he got onto the scales, everybody will... You know, how do you feel when yeah. you go around Liverpool? He's, um, he's well received around Liverpool. He always has been a popular kid. Uh, he's a little bit, you know, sometimes uh, outside of Liverpool, people don't. Unless you know him, you meet him, then you realise what a nice kid he is. Sometimes when you follow someone on social media, sometimes they come a little bit. Oh, but he's full of himself. Because um, I thought that about him before, I'm, you know. Um, I only knew him when he was to come to my shows. And, um, you know, from before he before he come Wealth Games, we would say hello to him and just, just have a little chat to him and I, and I liked him. But when you look at social media, you think, oh, I bet he loves himself. And when he asked if I'd, if I'd uh, trained him and have a session with him, I don't know if I want, I don't know if I want to train him. It's going to be, be an headache. But it's completely different to that. You know, behind closed doors, he gets that he's a novice. He gets he's got a lot to learn in this business and, and he does everything that he asks of him. And, you know, he's, he's, I would say that he's, he's a fantastic role model for kids that are coming through because he might not be the most gifted of athletes and, and naturally fluid boxers, skillful. And, you know, you've, got your, you've got your Olympians like your Cordinas and people like that that are more skillful and more natural as a boxer. There's nobody, there's nobody in boxing that works harder than him. You know, he's, he's like, um, in the gym, he's like a, another Tony Bellion, where, again, so many doubters, so many good players, he's never going to make it. He's, you know, he's domestic level, this is this. He, through hard work, he made it. And Fowler's like that. Fowler's a little bit more, a little bit more dedicated in the way that he, he, he doesn't let himself go out of shape. And he's always, he's always in shape. Whether that's through being vain or whatever, I don't care. The fact is that I don't have to worry about Fowler's weight, you know, and getting into shape. He's always in shape. I heard you just mention Bellio. It's on. Oh, yeah, there's been a little bit of announcement today. It's on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, um, it's finally sorted. And, um, and games can commence now. How did you feel on the first one? I mean, A, did it all this and that, and for him to just kind of win, it's amazing. He must have felt amazing. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, yeah. I won't lie, I won't sit here and say, oh, you know, it's just another fight. Um, because of the way that it was, yeah, the build up was, it did, it did feel rather nice. Uh, it was different. It was, it was a different sort of emotion because they were both emotional nights, nice, Makabu and Hay. Makabu was a big one because that was for the world title. Yeah. That was to, you know, the, the end of a dream, you know, because we, we, um, we our, our sort of mission was to step up to Cruiserweight, win a world title, and take that box. The Hay fight was different because that was more, more um, on a personal level. Um, and the same result. Um, big fat W. And now we've just got to do it all over again. We saw him um, squaring up to Deontay Wilde. Uh, um... Yeah, that was a fight. I was... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I said before, because I've, I've actually took Wilder on the past before. Yeah. I know how big he is, just how big a man he is. It's just so long. It's not even about his height, it's just the length of it. Yeah. Uh, I think his arms are longer than his legs. Um, and I always said to Tony, he's just too big. But Tony's, Tony's a fighter, he'll fight him. I'll fight him. Fight him. And then the day that they worked together on Sky, I don't know if it was Kel Brooksville at Bramall Lane, they worked together on Sky, and they met face to face, and, and Deontay gave Tony a hug. Tony asked, oh, he's big. He is big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he admitted it, he's big enough to admit yeah, it. Yeah. 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 He, he was, he's just way too big. There are, there are heavyweights out there that Tony can fight and Tony can beat, because they're not giants. And then you've got your giants, like your Wilders, like your Furies, like your Ages, you know, and they're just, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. So, Does that include both Furies. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have somebody that we've looked at either. You know? um, yeah. and, and I, I can't see them sort of fights happening. Just, mm. just big, very, very big and long. I don't think there's any fight which is going to be bigger than fighting 
um, day for day. It needs to happen because... Yeah, because you've got, you've got a, a section of people yeah. that think that we fluked it and, and we got yeah. okay, and then you've got people that realise, well, that's actually what they said was going to happen before the fire. Everything that happened, you know, we're never concerned about early rounds, winning early rounds. So we're never concerned about that. Um, so kind of like, there's two schools of thought. We're going to find out which one was right. Brilliant. Okay, well, we'll leave it at that and um, thank you very much. Cheers, mate.